Mini test number 24. Yep. Staring at this beautiful power supply right here. Now we're going to follow it. Over here, down under the panel. Got the new system up for the next system test. Missing one device. I mean, I'm getting one device ready for the next system test. But, talk about the mini test. First of all, for the first pull station, we got the Edwards 270-SPO. Made in 1998, which, uh, I don't know if you can see those numbers, 9832360, which means this was made in sometime in 1998. Yeah, and the camera, of course, is out of focus, so I'm just going to over here, we got not yet another pulse station, which is a first. Usually, I only have one pulse station, but this time, we have a GE label 270 GIO without the um, GE. I'm sorry, without the GE. Without the general alarm switch, is what I'm trying to say, or GA, that is. GE is the creator. And this is still an Edwards device, just Edwards owns GE. And you kind of saw the next device, which, yes, I'll get into, but. Curious about what happened to the um, GA switch? It was on my previously owned by me um, 4251-40, and I say previously owned, which you'll see why um, later on. Kind of a surprise coming, but you'll see, and you'll see that I pigtail this wire, and you're already seeing the next device. That's right, I've got the Edward 757-7A-T Integrity. Made in 1998. I have no clue when this was made, by the way. Um, there's no date code, unfortunately. And yeah, not enhanced. You may have already known that by now, if you saw many of my videos. Finally, well, you know, another integrity strobe, and that's it. So, this is my 202-788-001 first generation ceiling mount integrity strobe. Made in 1994 five or four it might be four it might actually be 1994 so if i had a different 270 spo i would have an all 90s edwards setup but otherwise this is pretty much an all edwards setup uh mini test so i'm going to do this in two ways to start off i'm going to pull this one and it's going to be on co3 which it is right now and at the end i will pull this one and it will be on continuous i'm going to have to do this short because this is probably the latest time I've ever done a fire alarm um, test. It's 8.17, and I don't know how pissed the neighbors are going to be after this. But who cares? We're just going to do it. And I'm going to stop talking now. Because you're probably bored of me right now. So, and I will turn off the light. So if you have strep epilepsy, if I have not, I don't usually say this. But do not watch this video. I'm not responsible for your actions. Whether you do that, or if you pull a fire alarm system in real life. Which you should not do. For various reasons. Alright. Here we go. And three, two, one. It's on low volume. Drop the camera. And that was loud. So, the change it to continuous. There's a jumper uh, right there. I apologize for this very poor. Um, now you can probably see it without me blocking the light. Right there. So, we are going to watch. I'm going to take this out. Jumper's out, put it over here, and now the integrity is on continuous. So, the camera will focus, please, and I don't need this because the security screw on that 270-SPO is broken. Which is why I'm not a huge fan of the um, security screw model um, 270s, so I said that before. But I'll shut up. Integrity's on continuous. Here we go. In three, two, one.
and that thing is incredibly loud. And it's on low volume. Goodness. That's going to wrap it up for mini test number 24 with 202-7A-001. First gen integrity ceiling mount remote strobe. I could say the whole dilly dally about this. Edwards 757 7A T integrity. Both of these are integrities. GE 270 GAO without the GE, without the GA switch. I need to stop that. And finally, the Edwards 270 SPO. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. One little thing. Um, maybe a little while before I do the system test, which I did already say because I'm kind of waiting for another device, and you'll, you'll see what I mean in the next system test, but if it's not another system test, likely it'll be another mini test, which would make it mini test number 25, so what do you know? And if you're curious, I still have the, um, Spec System Sensor Spectral or Classic S2475 remote strobe. Still on my eBay page, may drop down the price. I'm gonna shut up about this if you've already, if you're tired of me talking about this, basically like stop promoting your eBay listings. But it's like, again, wanna go check it out? Go ahead. eBay page, in my about tab, or check the last mini test I did, which does actually have the link. That's enough talking. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, thanks for watching.